Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. You know what they say, don't judge a book by its cover unless that cover is the artwork on Magmax. Which is remarkable. The game's not as good as its cover, but it's still good, and you want to own it solely because it has a robot with a lightsaber fighting Mecha Monster Zero on the NES. I have a poster of this on the wall. I feel like the only way to properly review Magmax is in front of the Magmax poster, which is possibly the greatest video game cover art of all time. Just look at it. We've got a robot with a lightsaber fighting Mecha Monster Zero while UFOs and robot dinosaurs watch. I hope the future is just like this next week. I really can't get enough of the Magmax soundtrack, which sounds like it's permanently stuck in the R zone and pretty cool because of it. This is a 1988 release for the Nintendo Entertainment System. I found it for five bucks and it's worth every penny for he shall forever be known as Magmax, hero of the future who shoots things with his foot lasers. But first you have to find legs. Oh, look! There they are! Quick! Magmax! Equip your legs! Foot lasers activated! Magmax is great! Get the camera! Camera activated! I think it goes without saying, Magmax deserves a place on the shelf in between Truxton and Cosmic Carnage. But wait, there's more. Laser vacuum activated! Is there anything Magmax can't do? Magmax can't read. I think for the sequel they should have Mag Max team up with Mad Max. Now, now that would be a game. And a cultural phenomenon. As if this game isn't already a cultural phenomenon. Just look at it. It's like Saycross mixed with Voltron and a generic 1980s spaceship shooter. Who will you be next year for Halloween? Mag Max. Just when you think it can't get any better, Magmax transforms into a walking snow speeder. This one is so weird. Why have I never heard of it before? I mean, aside from the poster on the wall, which is why I bought it. I uh, usually don't have to buy games anymore, but I was out just in a game store and I saw the game and I'm like, oh yeah, I have the poster for that game. Clearly I should own the game and it's not as good as the poster, but it's still pretty good. Magmax shoots enemies with a laser Hasselblad, and Magmax can only be destroyed after he loses his legs and torso. It's a remarkable game. I mean, it's, it's kind of not, but it, it's, it also is at the exact same time. Like, how could you possibly go wrong with this one? Sure, it gets repetitive, but if you find it repetitive, that's your fault. No! Oh, somebody crashed into Magmax's head! Thankfully, there's another one here. Replacement parts. Magmax is under warranty. Oh no! I think I was just shot by a walking toaster oven. I don't know what else to say here. I love this game, but it's not a great game. It's Magmax. Each game is like a half hour of this. Oh no, lava. Your lava doesn't scare me. But I am mildly concerned. All right, now I have new legs, which is good because I get a sick thrill out of shooting things with foot lasers. You can shift between the upper and lower level. I'm not sure there's much difference between the two, except it's Magmax. Magmax can do no wrong, which means I must now reorganize my shelves. I laugh at your feeble attempts to destroy Magmax. Oh no, now I fight Monster Zero. Garfield caught in the act. 
You're not worthy to share shelf space with Truxton and Cosmic Carnage. Make way for Magmax. Looking for new legs. Does anyone have legs for Magmax? Oh look, the ocean. Oh, that's nice, it's refreshing. Magmax likes refreshing. And I love Magmax. It's just so insanely weird. It's kind of fun. It's a really simple game, just extremely likable. And your life isn't complete unless you own Magmax. Unless Magmax owns you first. Boss battle. Oh no, Magmax, don't lose your head. <gasps> Thankfully, he's still got a snow speeder and legs. There's something really threatening about robot seahorses. There's also something threatening about a cave that opens up into the ocean while being chased by one of the things from Xevious. No! No, I have been destroyed almost, but not quite. Ah, Magmax has returned to his almost former glory. Ow! You evil creatures from another dimension! How dare you shoot Magmax's legs and torso? Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo, Turbo Volcano. Volcano! Starting with Jeff Breyer! <laughs> Derek Langley! <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson! <laughs> Benjamin Woodring! Benjamin Woodring! Steven Chucknick! Steven Chucknick! Al Stever! Al Stever! Ian Shore! You sure are awesome! Jason Gore. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>